Miss Elise here, and this is one of my best friends, Anthony. Hi. The antelope. Anthony and I love to tell stories. Oh, oh, we also love to paint pictures, right? That's right. We like to make illustrations of the stories that we make up. And what's our story today, Anthony? Oh, oh, what would happen if you gave a baby a bunch of balloons? I always wanted to know that. <laughs> well, good thing we're here to tell you. Our story begins at the county fair. <gasps> Mommy and baby were enjoying themselves immensely. The fair was everything a fair should be. There was wonderful, wonderful furry goats that could be fed special pellets. Oh, those sound delicious. Mm. <laughs> there were fun rides that lifted you high in the air. Oh, I think I'd be scared. And there were rides that would take you around in dizzy, 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 dizzy circles. Oh, I'm dizzy already. <laughs> And there were yummy, yummy smells of yummy foods like fried dough and ice cream. Mmm, <laughs> I can smell them already. But there was another smell too. A pungent, stinky, awful smell. The smell of great globs of poop. <gasps> and mommy looked at baby who gave her a big toothless smile. Mommy decided to check that the poopy smell wasn't coming from her baby. Oh, bleh. Mm -hmm. So what did mommy do? She lifted the baby high up in the air. Uh, why? To smell the baby's butt. What? As mommies and daddies often do, am I right? Well, just then, a silly, silly clown walked by, holding a great bunch of balloons. A little girl came over to buy one, and as the clown leaned down to hand the little girl the balloon, his other hand stretched way high up in the air, holding all the other balloons. Uh-oh. Well, baby was up in the air, too, and the baby reached over and grabbed all the balloons. <gasps> the clown turned around and yelled, hey, those are mine. Which caused mommy to trip over his huge shoes and let go of baby. <gasps> and the baby started to float higher and higher into the air. My baby, mommy screamed. My balloons, the clown yelled. Oh, uh, what smells? Asked the girl. And what was it? It was the baby's diaper. It was so full of stinky, stinky, stinky poop that it slipped right off the baby and landed right on the clown's face. <gasps> Yuck! Baby laughed and laughed and laughed and he went higher and higher and higher. Catch my baby! Mommy screamed. A man tried to grab him from the top of the Ferris wheel. <gasps> but the ride was going too fast. And up and up and up and up went baby. He flew straight into a flock of migrating geese. <gasps> Hey, baby, are uh, you okay there then? Where do you think you're going? They quacked. I don't know. I'm just a baby, he said, grinning. And up he went, his bare butt winking in the sunlight. <laughs> he mooned the passengers of a passing plane, which caused a very prim old lady to faint. Oh, my! Oh! Baby laughed so hard, he farted. <laughs> and up and up and up he went. He flew past the cloud creatures whose job it is to make rain and snow. You learn something every day, I tell you what. They gaped and stared. 
Hey, baby, uh, where do you think you're going? They croaked. I don't know. I'm just a baby, he giggled. And up and up and up he went. He flew so high, he flew right out of our atmosphere and into space. <laughs> baby gazed in wonder at the earth below him. He tried letting go of the balloons and was pleased to discover now he could just float on his own. Just then, a space shuttle came whizzing by. Two astronauts were in a very intense game of go fish when one of the astronauts looked up and said, Baby! The other astronaut said, No, no, I said, do you have any threes? No, there's a baby at the window. The two astronauts hurried over to let the baby inside. Good thing, it's probably cold out there. Goodness gracious, where do you think you were going? Sputtered the first astronaut. I don't know, I'm just a baby. The baby giggled. There was a lot of arguing back and forth between the astronauts. Why? Well, first they had to decide who was going to clean up the baby's very poopy butt. Ugh. It got rather heated since they tried to flip a coin and since there's no gravity in space, then the coin just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Oh dear. Ultimately, the captain decided since she was in charge of the mission, she could order people to do what needed to be done. And in this case, she ordered the other astronaut to clean the poopy butt. Oh, poor guy. Where do you live? Asked the second astronaut, pinching his nose as he cleaned the stinky butt. Oh, I would have pinched mine too. Look. But you don't have any fingers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just a baby, he cried. Well, a quick inventory revealed they had nothing to feed the baby. <gasps> they had no milk, no jars of baby food, and knowing how absolutely cranky and impossible babies get when they're hungry, they realized they had no choice. They would have to leave their mission early and head back to Florida, which is where their rocket ship launched from. Oh. They zipped back to Earth as quick as... Well, you can imagine it was a rocket ship after all. The astronauts wasted no time landing and taking the baby straight into the engineers in charge. What is this? yelled the head engineer. We asked you for samples from Mars, not a baby. Quick, get me a diaper before this baby poops again. The engineer's eldest daughter was interning at NASA. She ran out to the grocery store and got baby supplies. When she got back, everyone was still fighting. How will we figure out where this baby came from? There's simply no way to identify him, shouted the head engineer. The daughter looked at her father and rolled her eyes. Her dad was very smart, but he often missed the obvious. Mm. Me too. <laughs> so, uh... What did they do? Why don't you just take a picture and post it on social media? All parents take thousands of pictures of their children. I am sure the parents will see it. And then they'll come get their baby, she said. A picture was taken by NASA immediately and posted with the hashtag, hashtag, is this your space baby? Hashtag, please come quick. Hashtag, needs diaper changed again. Hashtag, poopy diaper. Hashtag, gross. Hashtag bleh. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Mommy had called the police <gasps> to help find the missing baby. They received several sightings from the geese, the cloud creature, and the airline passengers. One of them saw the social media posting and alerted the police and Mommy, who was immediately flown to NASA to be reunited with her baby. Oh. Everyone was so happy and relieved Baby was back with Mommy, especially the second astronaut. Why? Because he would never have to change another poopy diaper ever again. <laughs> they decided to throw a special party outside in the parking lot. 
best kind. There was food trucks and balloons and all kinds of fun things to do. Oh, I love that. It was so much fun and there were so many yummy things to eat. You could smell them in the air. <laughs> What's that smell? Something was stinky. Mommy looked at Baby and decided to raise him high in the air and smell his butt. As mommies and daddies often do. Just then, a man in a hot dog costume walked by, carrying a bunch of balloons. I like hot dogs. As he reached down to hand one of the balloons to an elderly gentleman, his other hand holding all the other balloons stretched way up behind him. Uh-oh. And Baby grabbed all those balloons. Hey, those are mine! yelled the hot dog. Mommy was so startled she tripped over his hot dog shoes and let go of Baby. <gasps> and up and up and up went Baby. Oh no. My baby! Mommy screamed. My balloons! The hot dog yelled. What's that smell? said the elderly gentleman. The very full poopy diaper slipped off the baby and landed splat right on the hot dog's face. And baby floated up and up and up. Here we go again. We hope you liked our story, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you soon. <laughs>